Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. I want to take this time today and explain what's been going on with the boat and why we haven't been on the water and why we haven't produced a video in a couple of months. Stay tuned. All right guys, so you're gonna have to forgive me. This is gonna be a little bit longer of a video to kind of explain what's been going on with the boat. We've had a laundry list of stuff go wrong with the boat, um, but one big thing being intermittent power loss. So I'm just gonna run through this note sheet real quick and read off what was all wrong with the boat um, and what we all took it in for. Um, and then uh, I'll show you it on the boat. So kind of starting at the top of that list, uh, we had some hoses that weren't draining in that front floor locker in the boat. Um, we had a, a gash in the starboard pleat. Uh, we had the glove box break. It was the latch on the glove box that broke. Um, the rear hatch and also the two jump seats, the bolts pulled right out of the fiberglass. So those seats were sitting in there all cockeyed. And same thing with that rear hatch where the two washout ports are in the back. Uh, we had rust pop up on several, several spots on the boat around the tower. And then um, we also had um, the washout port on the back right side of the boat was loose. So anytime you tried to connect the hose to it, it would just spin and spin and spin inside of there. Um, and then I think the last one was that the starboard motor was slow to start. Um, and I think that had something to do with the intermittent power loss, or um, I think they might have remedied that by putting new plugs in the motor too. Uh, not exactly sure. But I kind of just wanted to get all that out there because those are all the things we were kind of dealing with. I'm so happy we paid for those warranties because I kind of knew with it being a new boat, we were going to run into some issues, um, much like the first run of anything has, it has some issues to it to work out. Um, none of those things are super big, but the power loss issue, and I kind of just wanted to talk through that. So we're coming back from Pensacola. Uh, the sun was setting, so it's getting dark pretty quick. Uh, we hit a wave and then I, I noticed that my music cut out. Uh, but it, it immediately came back on. So it was weird, but I didn't think too much of it. And then we kept going, hit another wave, and then the music cut out again. And then I noticed that I lost my instruments and all of my switches. Um, so kind of a big deal because it was getting dark out and now my navigation lights were gone um, and also my bilge pump um, and just all of my switches were gone. So kind of a big deal when you can't mark where you're at once it's starting to get dark out. Um, so that kind of freaked us out a little bit and that was really kind of the catalyst that sparked us taking the boat in. And then once we knew we were taking the boat in, um, all the little stuff that we had noticed, um, you know, a week or two prior, we just listed that all on the same list as well. Uh, but that was the big thing, uh, kind of sketchy driving the boat back at night without any lights. For whatever reason, when that happened, um, we, the Simrad stayed on and the two motors stayed running, but everything else wasn't working. No lights, no music, um, and no switches. Um, so kind of sketchy, but thankfully we were able to make it back to the boat ramp without too many problems. And then we took it into the, um, the shop the next day. Um, and thankfully they were able to help us remedy those problems. Um, but I'll take you to the boat now and show you what they did to remedy some of those problems. Um, and see if we can't recreate that power loss issue. I know last time, um, right before we took the boat in, you could wiggle the main harness um, and there was a loose ground in there somewhere because every time you touch that main power harness um, and wiggled it enough, um, then it would recreate that issue losing the instruments, uh, the instrument screen and all of your switches. Um, so I started the boat the other night when we got it and it fired up just fine. Seemed like there wasn't any issues and they have since um, uh, fixed the drain hoses. I know they fixed the latch on the glove box and also the pleat um, as well as the table in the front has all the new rubber boots on it. Um, and it started up just fine. So I'm gonna walk you through the boat and show you all the things that they have fixed. Um, and that's kind of been our experience um, with the boat so far. Um, we absolutely love the boat. Um, you know, it just took us a little bit to get the boat back, to get back out there on the water, um, but glad we were able to, you know, get it all remedied so we can get back out there. So with all that being said, I'm gonna walk you through the, fro uh, through the boat from front to back and uh, show you what's going on. All right, so here we are up here in the front of the boat. And these two little rubber pieces are what we had lost 
this one dry rotted so only this one was left so there was really no way to secure this table in here and then also on the bottom side of that table you have these four rubber pieces in the corner to kind of all hold that in there securely well we lost um, this one right here in the corner and then one on the opposite ends of this table so anytime you hit a wave or um, you know a big wake it bounced in here and one time it even came up out of here and caught some wind and kind of blew back towards the tower so we eventually got to the point where we quit bringing this table all together because we had no way to secure it um, so they were since able to replace the two rubber stops and get all four of them back on this table um, so we're gonna put it back in here but I think these are just gonna end up being play pieces that have to be replaced every so often just from you know dry rotting from the Sun next thing was there's two drains one in this corner and then one below this floor locker um, those are blown out they said they had a bunch of fiberglass left in it from construction uh, because those weren't draining but they're draining now and then kind of moving back you'll see on these jump seats um, the bolts pulled out of um, the fiberglass itself so they replaced that with um, a washer and a nut on the bottom of that um, to make sure that these don't come out again um, so that happened on both sides of the boat and they were they fixed it the same way on both sides of the boat um, so we'll see what ends up happening with that and then the last little piece um, was this hatch in the back was having that same thing happen the bolts are just pulling right through the fiberglass in both those spots so this got the same fix as both of the jump seats then moving back forward was this latch on the glove box broke so when you put your finger in here it had a sharp piece of metal hanging down and that touch your finger and it also sat in here kind of like this at an angle so they've since replaced that and now it works just just fine so the last thing is the power issue we were having so i'm gonna set you guys down real quick fire the boat up and see if we can't recreate that issue all right guys so both the batteries are powered on uh that was what happened to the other jump seat just while we're over here so you can see you got the same fix but both batteries are on the key is in so we're gonna go ahead and turn this key see if we get the screen we do there's the connect cool it's powering on make sure we got our switches we do that's the map light it's on right there awesome so it looks like all our switches are back cool and then uh let's see if the stereo comes on it does it lit up right there takes a second to start cool so all that's working so before when we we're having this intermittent power issue the green was the one not working and none of these switches had power but the Simrad itself would still work because it's on a different battery. But the only thing you had to do to get this to cut out was come down here and wiggle this main harness. And once you wiggled that harness, this screen would cut off and you'd lose all power to your switches, which doesn't look like that's the case anymore. So they had to find that loose ground. Uh, happy about that because I just didn't trust taking the boat out, um, knowing we didn't have a bilge pump and then not being able to be on the water without navigation lights. So it looks like everything's been remedied to this point. We'll keep you guys up to date along the way, but that is where the boat has been. That's why we haven't been on the water. Um, so we'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, as I'm sitting here editing this video, I wanted to give you guys the last round of updates we had in regards to the boat. Uh, so we've taken it out twice since we got it back since like the front half of this video. Uh, the first time we took it out, awesome, no problems. Uh, but the second time we took it out, we ran into that same intermittent power issue. Uh, and it kind of happened the same way. There are several boats in front of us. I think we were leaving um, the Destin Harbor. Um, and there are several boats there kind of causing a lot of wakes. So we kind of came down hard, um, kind of in the trough of two waves when the boat came down hard in there. It was that same issue. The music cut out, the switches cut out. Um, it was pretty quick though. It booted right back up. Um, but still intermittent power issue. Um, so it's still something we're gonna have to take the boat back in to try to figure out. 
Um, thought we had it fixed in this last last round of fixes, um, but it looks like it might still be an issue. Um, reason I'm wanting to get this fixed is because we're trying to get out and start doing some night fishing. Um, and then I'd really um, like to take the boat down to Miami and do the crossing from Bimini or from Miami to Bimini um, is the ultimate goal, which is why I'd like to get this problem uh, fixed. So until we know that it's fixed for sure, um, it's kind of delaying some of those other things, um, uh, but not really anybody to point the finger at. It's just, you know, some of the issues we're running through right now. Uh, so I wanted to give you guys that. We haven't posted a video in a while because of uh, kind of just lead times, waiting on stuff to either get fixed, waiting on parts to come in, and then waiting for me to have the free and available time from work to actually go out and try to enjoy the boat, as well as pay attention to some of the things, um, such as the intermittent power, um, to make sure that I'm trying to capture that as best I can uh, once we do take it back in. So that's kind of been the story. Uh, I wanted to give you guys that, uh, but please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.